Hello, I'm Galactic Sweets, and welcome back to Mario 64 DS. Today, a bonus episode, in case it wasn't obvious in the title. But right now, well, so something I sort of ignored throughout the entire Let's Play are these bunnies that are just randomly scattered about the castle. The only time I acknowledged them was that you do need to get some of them for a star. But they actually, when you catch them, I believe they're about eight to seven, seven to eight bunnies per character. And specific sets of bunnies will only appear for specific sets of characters. You can tell what bunny will appear for a character by its color. Uh, and with that, every time you catch a bunny, you'll unlock a new mini game. We never went over mini games in the main series, so we're going to show that off. But first, uh, you're going to see a montage of all the rabbit locations for each character. And uh, if you don't want to see that, there should be a timestamp on screen right now uh, indicating when you can skip forward to the uh, actual, whatchamacallit, to the rest of the video, where I'll be showing off some mini games, just sort of demoing them. So, with that, go ahead and enjoy, and I'll see you guys in a minute or a second. And we are back, and in this room, you might have noticed this shell. Well, why don't we talk to this toad first? Woo! That's a key to Princess Toadstool's secret drawer! You found it for me! Thank you! When you want to play mini games, just select the rec room from the title screen! You can also consult the drawer to, to see how many keys you have! Yeah, so if you put out to the main title screen, there will be an option on it to go to the rec room, which will be in the bottom right of the touch screen. But if not, you can come here and see how many keys you've collected. I don't know if this is all of them, but I 
just looked up a quick guide on where all the bunny locations were. You can hit continue and save and play mini games. And I believe the mini games are unlocked across all uh, files. So if you say haven't gotten the keys on one of your files, but you got the keys on another one, the mini game should still be unlocked. And you're probably saying, what mini game? Well, if we switch the view really quick, ta-da! You can see the touch screen now, and here we have a bunch of games. Each character has their own mini games, and they're unlocked by finding those character specific rabbits. So I'm gonna go ahead and show off two or so of each character. I actually played some of these earlier, but I'm gonna go to. This is probably the least mini game mini game right now. But if you want to see what it is, you just press A, and you can see the rules. It gives you a brief description. And this is basically a loves me, loves me not. Or if you're like me, you can just do this and power through it. But of course it only loves me or not because it's always the opposite of whatever you get last. I see how this is game. Uh, go ahead and show this one. This is the one I actually played a lot. This is called Wanted. The idea is that it shows you a character on the top screen and you have to tap the uh, character shown on the top screen on the bottom screen. And there, of course there will only be one. And the stars on the right will show you how far, uh, how many you've gotten right so far. And I believe once you get one wrong, it's an instant uh, loss. So it's just a, more of a chain. See how far you can go. They get really clever later on to activate anything. I don't even see Luigi. Uh, Luigi. Luigi. I don't actually see Luigi. I feel like he's right in front of me and it's really obvious. Well, I guess this is a good time to show what happens with time. Found him. Uh, <laughs> oh, the time carries over. Okay, I did not actually remember that. Uh, Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. I don't see a Yoshi. Oh, there. That's where the Yoshi is. Yeah, and you see if you get it, it'll go game over. Just to give you an idea, and of course you get even said high scores, but since this is on my Wii U Virtual Console and this is the first time meet with me actually going through and unlocking these mini games. There are no high scores set on here. Uh, we'll show... I don't remember what the blue one was, actually. Uh, well, of course, press A. Rub the touchscreen and find where the blues are hiding. So, you can see them rub, and then... Their goals is just sort of rub out. Rub out. That sounds horribly wrong, do not take that out of context. Uh, just go ahead and clear where the boos are. You can keep track of them right before they get rid of the... Uh thing and if you're fast you can get most of it though they don't give you a lot of time uh, so I'll go ahead and show one more level of this and then quit and show you the next mini game uh, all right yeah just like that hooray and I believe even if you choose to quit uh, it still saves your score so, like, if I choose to quit here, I think it'll still display a score of 3, which is how far I got. So let's view Mario's minigames. These are the ones I actually managed to play a lot. Uh, specifically, uh, this one. Mario has several ones like this, where the idea is that these Marios will just come out, and then you can bounce them off this trampoline, and the goal is to get them... So it depends on the one. This one, you have the goal is to get them into the exit. However, there's one where your goal is just to keep the chain going. Uh, as you go further, there will be more and more Marios. And that bottom uh, thing right here, at the bottom trampoline, will go will disappear after three uses. Uh, yeah, you can see it changes color. And any other trampoline will go away after... Uh, well, after a single use. Uh, shoot. Okay, yeah, but you get the idea of this. Uh, let's go ahead and show another one. Uh, I believe the one that has... Okay, so this one has you going through rings, and then there's one more on the first screen that has you just going for a rally sort of thing. So you can see you want to angle it so Mario goes through it. Uh, generally, it, uh, tips I have for this mini game is the smaller the trampoline, the higher it'll uh, bounce Mario. So if you like draw a really small one like that, it'll make Mario go super high. You run no sort of time limit, so you can just take your time. I generally like doing small trampolines because it keeps Mario just really high in the air, which gives me time to react to him coming down. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, just of course, as soon as I say that, we'll go ahead and do that. 
Uh, you should go ahead and go through this. Uh, go through. Oh wait, no, that went away. Okay. Uh, I'll keep. I'll get these rings and then we'll move on. And wow, thank you, Mario. Other second Mario for doing that. So yeah, it, it, this is just sort of rapid fire. I'll probably show like a proper one at the very end. But or uh, this is uh, when we have to sort of. I believe the idea is yeah, guide Mario. So I believe the idea with this is that you want to do this, and then you could speed him up. Uh, then I don't think there's a way to get rid of lines, so we're gonna have a bunch of lines here, and yeah. Uh, I don't remember playing that one too much. This is the one, the one next to it, the one with the Mario and the Shy Guys, the one with the Rally. I'll go and show some Luigi ones. Luigi ones are all casino themed, which is kind of funny. I, but hey, you get this glorious Luigi. Uh, which one is this? The memory? Yeah. Uh, touch two I Oh, so it's the ideas. Oh, uh, what game am I thinking of? But the idea is that you just keep touching them. Uh, keep tapping ones that are vertical or connected. I think you can do horizontal like this. Yes, you can. And then it'll get rid of stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and go through this, and of course Luigi will eventually just go through. And it is possible to get stuck in like an impossible situation. And it's happened to me before. But generally you won't get stuck on the first level. Alright. And then yeah, you can see here. And ta-da, we even gamble coins! Uh, with that I'll go ahead. Yeah, I always find it interesting that Luigi stuff is like all gambling. Oh, uh, let's see this one. I believe you have a default coin count, and yeah. Uh, let's see, what are the rules? Oh, uh, what are the rules? Pick two matching cards. So... And then yeah, those act as our lives. I believe this was a mushroom. Yes, it was. So what's this? This is a flower? Uh, too bad. Well, it's a shame. And then we have to spend coins to try again. Uh, mushroom, star. Uh, star, star. Mushroom, mushroom. Uh, cloud, flower. Flower, flower, and then cloud, cloud. Hooray, we did it. And then we get coins back, and hooray, we're back at our initial set. I'll go ahead and show off one more of Luigi's minigame. Uh, I don't remember how some of these work, but let's do this one. Uh, let's see. Lucky stars, pick a pair of cards. From a pair of cards, pick the one with more stars to win coins. Beat Luigi at his own game. Uh, so I guess it's just a... It's literally just a betting game. And then you can bet more coins, and I don't know if there's any specific strategy to this. Uh, but hey, if you like gambling, this is a great way to do it without spending any actual money. Uh, so let's go ahead. Wario always had really fun mini games. I remember. I believe this is one where your goal is to shoot uh, incoming bomb bombs, uh, and you don't you want to protect them from the power flowers at the bottom. Those sort of indicated your lives. Uh, Alright, and, oh yes, okay, so it looks like hitting a locket to gets rid of them all, uh, yeah, you can hit a, it says in the pause menu, you can hit a lock too. Just to give you an idea, it's just a little fun thing to sling away at. Uh, you can do stuff like this. And I believe you get more points for chaining shots. Uh, just sort of stuff like that. There's just a nice little collection of mini games, you know. I believe this one I remember is you have to actually roll a snowball and you have to try and avoid the uh, rocks and get it as big as possible. Or I think it naturally just becomes big as possible, but of course if you get through faster. And uh, the idea with this is that you uh, keep swiping up on the touch screen in order to go. Like so. Hooray. Uh, and yeah, you compete for high score, so I don't think that... I don't think there's like a second stage or anything. 
Uh, let's see what other ones. I remember this one being like, you, there's one card here and you have to pick which one it is. Uh, there, I remember there were ways to see which card it was. I don't remember how to check it. But there are ways to see... Uh, there are ways to guess which card... Guess with accuracy which card it was. Uh, I'm just gonna pick this one. Hooray, I'm a psychic. We're gonna quit there before my powers are proved fraudulent. And I'm called a phony. Uh... With that, that's pretty much all I want to show. I'll just show a few more things. I, this I remember this being a really fun minigame, but the idea with this is that you sort of just drag the bomb onto the correct color. Uh, and if you drag one to the wrong one, such as so, they'll all blow up. Uh, then it shows your final... Okay, so all the ones in this side will blow up. Hmm, interesting. Uh, hooray, high score! Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, just a random mini game. Try and get as far as I can. You'll see uncommentated gameplay of it, or at least I'll try more.
apologize for the quick cut there. But yeah, you got to see me try and actually do this when I was concentrating. A little tip I'd give for that mini game is that the uh, uh, you can often find the characters by their eyes when they try to get more tricky with hiding their hat or chin or whatever. So knowing the difference between Mario's eyes, Luigi's eyes, Wario's eyes, and well, I hope you know the difference between Yoshi's eyes and everyone else helps a lot. And uh, something I also found was that Yoshi and Wario were a lot easier to find than Luigi and Mario. Uh, so yeah, just to give you an idea of what you can do, these can be just random little time wasters. Uh, I believe this one is you try to shoot it into the uh, thing. Yeah, you, you're essentially just trying to shoot these spike balls into the bins. Uh, so this is, since they do move in a similar fashion or a pattern, uh, you can just try shooting where you know they will be. Uh, I don't think there's any advantage of shooting in one over the other. Uh, and then uh, you can see as the score gets higher, the, the, the patterns do change a little. Uh, and then of course it'll show you here how many you got. One, two, three. Uh, I was gonna guess eight, but hey. And you get the little toads freaking out in the background. Oh no, they're dropping spiders on us! So yeah, just to give you a little idea of all the uh, minigames, I won't show every single one. But it's just a nice little collection here worth checking out every now and then. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus episode. And next time on Mario 64 DS. Uh, we're going to be having a fun time with this game. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and until then, because, dear god, how long did this bonus video take to come out? Just imagine how long the next one will take. Hopefully not as long. Bye.